2.15 tomorrow is going to be the time when the University of Alaska Anchorage Seawolves take on Northwest Nazarene University here in men's action at the 2020 Great Northwest Athletic Conference Men's and Women's Basketball Championships at Seattle Pacific University. And joining us now, who's come a long way for this interview, is Jack McDonald. Jack, a guard for the University of Alaska Anchorage team who actually grew up down there in Melbourne, Australia. Jack, thanks for joining us very, very much. We're going to talk about your background here in just a couple of minutes, but you've had kind of an interesting year. You've come off the bench, you've started for the the Seawolves. Do you prefer one over the other? Uh, No, no, I don't think so. Um, I think this year we've had like a lot of depth, Um, so, you know, just accepting whatever role um, I'm given, you know, that's, I'm just about winning, and so at the start of the year, that's what it was, you know, that was my role to come off the bench, kind of spark us a little bit, Um, and now further down the stretch, it's been more, you know, playing heavier minutes, so, uh, yeah, whatever, whatever is kind of needed, that's kind of what I do. Well, and obviously, you've done quite well for this Alaska Anchorage team. You see this team, and again, you've gone through some transitions, as I mentioned, with you moving from a, from a, reserve role to now more of a starter's role. There's been some transition throughout the course of the year, but do you feel this Anchorage team is gelling right now? I think so. Obviously, uh, we had a bit of a rough week last week, you know, just just losing to Western Oregon at their place and then um, playing in a tough environment at Concordia. Uh, but I think, you know, pre- previous to that, you know, we were on a four-game winning streak and, you know, we felt we could beat anyone in the conference and so, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the conference is just so, so close this year, you know, um, anyone can beat anyone, which you would have seen. Uh, so, yeah, uh, hopefully, I mean, we'd like to think that we're, we're playing pretty well and gelling pretty well together, so, yeah. And you have a very specific style up there at Anchorage. You, you move the ball particularly well uh, and play very, very tough defense. If you're able to move the ball well and play good defense, do you think you come out with a victory against NNU? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, those are two pretty big uh, parts of our game. So, uh, but I mean, NNU is going to be looking at that and trying to take take us out of that. So, uh, there's going to be a lot of things that play into into tomorrow's game. Obviously, we've had two pretty close games them during the year. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's going to come down to all the, all the little things tomorrow. All right, I said you grew up in Melbourne, Australia, Alaska. In Australia, they start with A, but they're miles apart, literally. <laughs> what brought you to Anchorage? Uh, I think just the fact that there had been Australians uh, go to UAA and had been uh, pretty uh, successful in that program, so that definitely helped uh, speaking to them um, about what it was going to be like and that kind of thing. And then I think just the style of the program kind of suited my game uh, pretty well. So those are probably the two, two main factors. Jack has also been very, very... Uh, involved with raising money for the wildfires that have struck his home country there in Australia. Is that something that's continuing as we speak today? Uh, luckily, we've had a lot of rain uh, in the previous month or so, uh, which has put them all out. But um, yeah, so they're, they're all out, but uh, now it's just kind of recovering and getting people back on their feet and, and, that, and that sort of thing. Okay. Well, Jack, congratulations on doing that. I mean, that's a, that's a very good work on your part. Congratulations on a great year with UAA. And we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at 2.15. We you take on Northwest Nazarene in the quarterfinals here at Rome Pavilion of the 2020 Great Northwest Athletic Conference Men's and Women's Basketball Championships.